Good afternoon, grade 11 students. In this video, we'll start about the genetics for grade 11. And here we go. So first of all, you have to know that the chromosomes, they are at metaphase, they line in the middle of the cell, they form what's known by equatorial plate. These chromosomes, they are made up of two sister chromatids. The substance that make up the chromosome, we said that is called the chromatin. Chromatin is divided into two different forms, either the DNA composed of the nucleotides, a, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, A, T, C, and G, and proteins composed of histones and non-histones. We have to remember that DNA, through the process of transcription, they will give mRNA, and the mRNA, through the process of translation, will give polypeptide. You have to know that, what is a gene? A gene is a fragment, or it's a piece, or it's a... A portion of the DNA that codes for a specific polypeptide or for a specific trait. For example, the gene for the hair color, the gene for the skin color, the gene for the level of thinking, the gene for the blood groups, all of them, they are part of DNA, they are segments of DNA, and they can code for a specific trait. What are the alleles? Alleles, they are different versions of the gene. For example, we have the gene of the blood group. All of you, you know that we have the gene of the blood group. This gene it has three different alleles. We have the allele A, we have the allele B, and we have the allele O. A and B, both of them, they are dominant, while O is the recessive, is the weak one. So alleles, they are different versions, or they are different models of the same gene. And this is the example about the blood groups. Homozygous or pure. Do we have to know only homozygous? No, you have to know both terms. Because mostly we're going to use not homozygous, we're going to use the pure. So what the meaning of homozygous or pure? Homozygous, individual that has two identical alleles, pay attention here, of the same gene. For example, let's talk about the blood group, since we're talking about blood group. Blood group, I'm, for example, a person who has a homozygous for the blood group. Homozygous for the blood group, let's say A. So my genotype should be A, A. I should have A and A. And homozygous for blood group B, I should have B capital, B capital. Or homozygous for blood group O, so it's O, O. Homozygous having two identical alleles for the same gene. While heterozygous is the opposite. Heterozygous, or it's called the hybrid. So you have to know the word hybrid. Individual that has two different alleles for the same gene. For example, I have allele A and allele O. My blood group will be A, and we'll talk about this, dominant and recessive. So I have two different alleles. So this is called heterozygous, or it's called the hybrid, okay? So this is called heterozygous or hybrid. Moving now to the dominant and recessive. What's the meaning of a dominant allele? Dominant allele is the strong allele. This allele, it can be expressed either in the homozygous or in the heterozygous. So this allele is called the, the dominant allele. For example, by the group A, it can be expressed whenever I have. By the group A, it can be expressed whenever I have A and A. This is the case of homozygous. And it can be expressed whenever we are heterozygous, A and O. Since O is not dominant, it's called recessive. So this is the allele A is dominant since it can be expressed in the case of homozygous like AA or in the case of heterozygous like AO. So this is what we call it. It can be expressed in homozygous and heterozygous. While what well, the meaning of recessive allele. Recessive allele is the allele that cannot be expressed unless in the case of homozygous. It should be homozygous. Talking about the blood group example, O, it cannot be expressed unless we have two O's, O and O. Why? Because the allele O is recessive, and it can be expressed unless we have two alleles recessive. As I said, it's called the weak allele. So weak allele cannot be expressed unless we have two weeks. So O and O, so the individual is going to have blood group O. So none of the individual having blood group O, all of them, all should have O and O, since O cannot be expressed unless we have two weak. This is an example about the dominant brown eye allele, 
and B small for the uh, recessive allele that go for the blue color. As a note, usually the dominant allele is symbolized by a capital letter since it's the dominant. So B capital, it's for the dominant allele. And the small, uh, the recessive allele, it's expressed in a small letter. So it should be written in a small letter. So here we have B capital for the brown. So individual having brown and another individual having brown. So here they are heterozygous. This individual is heterozygous and the other individual is heterozygous. Why? Because they have two different alleles for the same gene, which is the eye color. Then B capital, B capital, and B capital, B small here. So here, both of them, they have brown. Why? Because the brown is the dominant and can be expressed in both dominant and recessive uh, dominant cases, or in the case of homozygous here or heterozygous. Or here, B capital, B small, also it gives brown. Why? Because the brown is dominant over the blue and it can be expressed in heterozygous. So these three, they give brown. While this one, B small, B small, it gives the blue. Why? Because B is recessive and it cannot be expressed unless in the case of homozygous. So this is will give the blue color. Move now to talk about something called co-dominant. Co-dominant alleles. Co-dominant alleles, they are alleles that are expressed in a heterozygous individual. Let's take an example about this fish. We have a red fish and we have a blue fish. They mate together and they give a fish with two colors, blue and striated with the red color. This can be noted that these two, they are dominant. So both allele, they are dominant and both of them, they are expressed. So if I want to give the allele, I have to get let R capital be the symbol of the allele coding for the red color and let B capital be the symbol of the allele coding for the blue color. Here the parents, they are pure. Well, the meaning of this, they are homozygous, RR and BB. So here we will take only B from this fish. And from this, we will take R. This is what's known by gametes. So these gametes, they will give R capital, B capital. Both of them, they are dominants and both of them, they are expressed. This is the case of co-dominance where both alleles, they are expressed. What's the meaning of phenotype? Phenotype is the trait that we observe. For example, I have, let's say, brown eyes. So this is a phenotype. I have a black hair. This is a phenotype. I have, for example, blood group AB. This is a, a phenotype. All of that we observe is called a phenotype. While the genotype is the sum of alleles. For example, for the blood group, and blood group AB. So you have allele A and allele B. And this is the case of co-dominance, where both alleles, they are expressed together. So this genotype will code for the phenotype. For example, having the genotype AB for the blood group will code for the phenotype, which is the blood group AB. What well, the meaning of true breathing? True breathing line. Always you're going to hear about this in the questions. What well, the meaning of true breathing line. True breathing line is a line of individuals where all the descendants, all the offsprings, all the family members, they have the same phenotype as their parent. For example, I crossed a black, uh, black male mouse with another black male mouse. All the generations, they are black like the parents. So this is called the true breathing line. What's well, the meaning of homogametic? Gametic, it's gamete. Homo, it gives only one type of gametes. Homo, like homogeneous, if you want to say, or homozygous. So homogametic individual that gives only one type of gametes. Let's take an example about the female ovium. Female ovium, as you know, the XL, it has XX. In the female, it has XX as sex chromosomes. So these are XX. These XX, they will code for the female ovum. They are carried by the female ovum. So these are homogametic. It gives only X and it can give other than X since it has two X's. So it will give only X. Whereas heterogametic, what's the meaning of heterogametic? Heterogametic as an individual, 
that gives more than one type of gamete. For example, the male sperm, it, it has XY as sex chromosome. So these XY sex chromosomes, they can give either X or Y. So we have a chance 50% to give X and 50% to give Y. So this is the heterogametic case. Okay, so heterogametic can give more than one type and homogametic, it gives only one type of gametes. Holandric gene, what the meaning of holandric gene? Always a gene that's carried by the Y chromosome. So it's carried by the Y chromosome, meaning that in the male, so it's called holandric gene. What the meaning of bi-dominant and bi -dominant? Bi two. Bi-dominant, having two dominant phenotypes. For example, I have, for example, blood group A. You know that the blood group A is dominant. So A is dominant. And I'm dominant for another trait, let's say albinism, the, the albino person. So normal, which has allele D, it's dominant over the albino, which has the small A. So I have two dominant phenotypes, one for the blood group, and the other one for the albinism or normal regarding the albinism. So both of them, they are dominant. So this is called bi-dominant. While bi-recessive, what's the meaning of bi-recessive? Bi-recessive individual having two recessive phenotypes. For example, regarding the blood group, blood group O, since the O is recessive, and regarding albinism, albino, having albino. So this is called the bi-recessive. Dihomozygote, what well, the meaning of dihomozygote and diheterozygote. Dihomozygote meaning that individual homozygous for both traits. For example, I'm homozygous for the blood group. I have A capital, A capital, let's say. Homozygous for the blood group. And homozygous regarding the eye color, I have green, so GG. So homozygous for both traits, this is called the dihomozygous. Okay? Why diheterozygote? individual that is heterozygous for both traits. For example, I have, let's say, blood group, I have blood group A and O at least, so I'm heterozygous. And regarding the brown color of the eye, I have brown and the green, and the brown is dominant. So I am heterozygous for both traits. This is called diheterozygous. So there's a difference between biomozygous, diheterozygous, and bi-dominant and bi-recessive, okay? So these are the different terms about homozygous and heterozygous. This experiment was performed to locate the genetic information, which determines the genetic identity, where true breeding, what the meaning of true breeding line, all the descendants, they have the same offspring, like the birds, crossed with the male of the same genotype, where a true breeding female crossed with the male of same genotype. These are two true breeding lines, the gray and the black. We extracted the embryo cell and we injected them into the uh, fertilized ovium, we extracted the pronuclei, implanted them in the catering cavity, and the result was the birth of the blade baby mouse. This indicates that we have the genetic information, they are located inside the nucleus, and they are not located either in the cytoplasm or in the uterus of the fossil mother, which is this white mouse, which is ready only for gestation. So you know that if the descendants always they have the same phenotype as their parents, so the line is called the true breeding 